Welcome to the Everton News Daily. As Everton's uh, takeover took another twist, the consortium of international investors, which involves a member of the Saudi royal family, apparently, has made a £400 million offer to buy Everton. The bid is led by London-based businessman and lawyer Vach Manukian. Uh, Manukian and his consortium have proposed an all-equity offer which would not take on additional debt for a football club and would aim to create a sustainable long-term strategy for a club that they see as a sleeping giant of English football uh, with potential to secure a place at the top of world football again. Uh, Apparently, uh, through the new stadium and everything else involved with the football club, Manukian is an Evertonian as well, uh, which is... An extra little bonus for it. There's lots and lots of stories coming out about takeovers. Obviously, over the weekend, we had uh, the Roma owner being interested in Everton. We've had Andy Bell and George Downing and their consortium. MSP is still in there, apparently. ACAP are interested in. John Texter of Crystal Palace, very interested in Everton. So lots of people bidding for the football club now. And it's good news because it's good news that uh, people see Everton as an opportunity to to, uh, take the club forward. I know some of it will be purely based on making a, a quick book or trying to, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Business, you know, business matters only. But what we're hoping for is that someone really sees an opportunity to make Everton uh, relevant again within the world of football. And two or three of these consortiums look as though that well, that's what they're saying. That interest is. Let's hope that that is a, that is the case. But it's going to run and run. I think because I think there'll be more people interested in getting involved now. It seems like there's a little bit of a bit more for Farad Mashiri. Let's hope. He makes the right choice. Uh, Everton's fan advisory board have today issued an open letter to any ongoing prospective bidders for the ownership of Everton Football Club, together with a list of questions and considerations as collated from their fan engagement sessions. And I think this is key as well. I think whoever comes in does have to have open communication with the fans. We need to, not every, we don't need to know every deal, of course, um, but we do need to be kept, you know, up to date with what's going on. It is our football club. We've had an, an awful time as a fan base over the last, well, people will say over the last 30 years, but over, certainly over the last 18 months, it's been so turbulent. Not to mention the on-pitch stuff, which has been three tough years. So we, we should be kept up to date with what is going on and what people's intentions for our football club is. And that's good that the FAB have decided to get involved. Uh, Everton have today been linked with a move for Chelsea striker Armando Breuer. Uh, The fee's rumoured to be around £30 million. Uh, He's 22 years of age, played 21 games last season for Fulham, but only scored one goal uh, in the Premier League. He's got 11 Premier League goals in 84 games. Uh, he's been capped 21 times by Albania and he scored five goals. He was very good on loan at Southampton. He's lost his way a little bit. He's had a bad injury as well. He's a good player. I quite like him, but he's not a prolific goal scorer, as his numbers tell you there. He's more, for me, of a player who will play off a striker or in wide areas. 30 million in my opinion, it'd be too much. But he is he has got loads of potential. He is only 22. But we'll wait and see whether there is actually anything in that. Everton have been interested in him for about 18 months, I think. Um, so we'll see whether anything goes on with that one. And finally today, Everton have been linked to, to another former Chelsea striker this time, Tammy Abraham, as a potential replacement for Dominic Calvert-Lewin should he leave the club. Ironically, for Chelsea. Uh, Abraham is 26 years old, only played eight games last season and scored one goal due to a knee injury. The season before that, he had eight in 38, and the year before that, he struck 27 times. He scored 26 Premier League goals in 89 Premier League games. Again, another one who isn't prolific. He is, you know, he's a good striker, but like we said, he's, he's coming back from a long-term injury, and and this one has been uh, this one. It's just a rumor today, isn't it? But again, another player who haven't in the past have had an interest in. We'll see. We will see. That is it for the news daily. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching. See you later.